Hey guys, what is up? Uh, I'm doing a little voiceover for today, something different. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you a quick little, uh, it takes about half an hour. It's a little pool workout. Uh, and let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is the warm up right here. Uh, just throw out all 15 balls on the table. It doesn't have to be all 15, just throw out some balls on the table. Just shoot them, shoot stop. Uh, we're not worried about position. We're just looking at getting our stroke ready, getting our arm warmed up just a bit. We just shoot some slow shots, shoot some fast shots. We're not worried about running balls. Uh, we're just worried about really making balls and keeping our stroke smooth. Because uh, generally when we start off playing, uh, obviously we start off worse than after we warm up. So this is the little warm up. So our practice, our actual little workout won't be as bad. And I tend to pick harder shots to shoot while I'm doing this to practice uh, just shots. I know I can make that 14 ball. Just this two ball looks a bit harder. And I think that's four actually. Uh, if you rattle it out and you feel like you should have made it, just set it back up again. All we're doing is warming up. Uh, so we're just getting back right back in line and I believe we make this one right here So we're not looking for position on any ball. We're kind of just shooting and stopping and then uh, Playing just a different ball Goes that eight ball So usually I run through this drill of 15 balls uh, just a few times to get just until I feel that my stroke is warmed up enough to actually continue uh, running out. So right here, um, I think I'm gonna shoot the 14 because it looks a bit challenging. There we go. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna shoot here. I believe I bank the 11. It's okay to get some banks in there. I'd prefer not to. I just didn't have another shot. Here goes that 11. The only shot right here is the tough shot on the 9. Um, uh, it looks like I'm going to try to get it. See, my camera's blocking my way right there. Uh, just barely rattled it out. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, so I think we're just going to clear the few remaining balls up. Should be the 1 and the 13 in the side. I think we're going to do this one more time. So throwing out all 15 balls this one should look a little better than the last one just because uh, we're a bit warmed up now sorry with the five into the side again that's interesting I did that in the last rack I could play that combination right there just to warm up my combinations, but really this first drill is mainly focused on stroke and shot making. Looks like I'm kind of playing position in this one, which I really should not be doing. Uh, but I guess it is the second one and it's, it's better than doing it in the first rack. Running that one up there. Dead straight in. Uh, should shoot the one ball here. Or the 13. Can't tell which one I'm on. Yeah, one ball. 
And right here, I believe I'll shoot the 13 up in the corner. Or the 15. And now I'm going to shoot that 13. So this one, you see, I played a, a bit of position for each shot. I, I wasn't really too concerned with it. Uh, but I did play it, which I, it's okay for the, not the first little rack. Uh, but there is that run out of 15 balls. And by now I'm feeling pretty in stroke. My arm is warmed up a bit. Cleaning the cue ball. Uh, if you use Kamui chalk, you're usually going to have to clean the cue ball. Unless you use the new Roku chalk. Because uh, that does not leave a mess all over the cue ball, though. One that I use does leave a mess on the cue ball, and the cue ball will skid, uh, and that's not good. So right here we're getting into the shot making part of this, uh, and I'll mention this workout is pretty basic. You will not think, you wouldn't think it does what it does to your game, uh, but just doing this every day will improve your game like crazy, especially your shot making. This is really focused on shot making and a bit of position. There's different workouts that I do uh, that is focused on different parts of the game. This one is mainly shot making and a bit of position. Some of them are mainly position and always with position there will be shot making. But right here you see I'm putting in pocket reducers, which make the pockets insanely small uh, it's about a ball and a like a quarter wide so we're starting with straight end shots into this corner so dead straight end shots this should not be a problem shooting them fairly hard and then we do straight in shots into the side. And the side is actually one of the hardest pockets in this drill. In the next drill, actually. And then straight in shots into the other corner. So we're doing three of each. Three of each. And this is the last one for straight in shots. Just like that. So now we are going to the other side. Take out three balls. And now we're cutting this to the right. So now we're actually getting into actual shots. And this one is a bit hard. I'm not going to lie. With that pocket reducer there, you have to make it in the back of the pocket. It's not going to let you make it anywhere else. There you go. One more. And there it is. So now we are throwing out three more balls and we are cutting to the right into that side pocket. Using two rail position on each shot. Last one, I make it a bit more of a cut. I'm going to spin the ball more, as you see. Now we're going to take out the last three balls of this little part. And we are cutting to the right again. Really, we're just focused on the three different angles of shots. And then the last one I tried to make a bit more extreme. And this makes it really hard for the pocket reducer to accept it. You see it just, it goes in the pocket but it just spits it right back out. And this next one I think I overcut it. Slide overcut. Hitting that green part on the left. 
And this one, I think I make it. Just like that. So now after this drill, we get to the most important part, which is just three ball position. And I believe if you can run three balls, like then in nine ball, you're just running three balls three times. So running those three balls is really what you have to keep in mind since your mind is always three balls ahead. So we're running them in rotation and calling the pocket before we shoot the first ball. So we know where we have to shoot every ball and we are playing for that pocket. And this is with the pocket reducers in. Now I have a rule that you cannot take the pocket reducers out of the pockets. So you're just going to have to shoot over them, shoot around them. Uh, and you see there a uh, straight in shot on that 15. Uh, just the reducers spit it out. I shot it a bit too hard. And we do this until we reach 10. Until we reach 10 successful attempts. So here is successful attempt number one, shooting over that reducer again. So that is one. Can't remember if I do exactly 10. I may have lost count while I was doing it. Just make sure you do 10 or more than 10. Do not do less than 10. Now we're shooting this three ball, rolling up for the 11. And I think this is successful attempt number two. If I make this ball, there it is. Throwing out three more. This pattern looks a bit easy. Oh, wow, I missed that two ball. Into the side pocket, if you have any angle going into the side pocket, and you hit any part of that green, it's just going to spit it right back out. And you will see that a lot in this video. I noticed that I missed a good bit in those side pockets. And I actually came up a bit too far. I just wanted to hold for the seven in the side. I believe I make it anyway, though. There it is. No scratch. Okay, so I think that was number two, number three. We will find out when I end. Oh wow, there's that miss in the side again. I'm gonna just spits it right back at you. I believe I'm playing a bit fast here. I think I'm playing too fast. That was a good shot on the nine. Let's see if I can make that 11 ball. Yep, and it goes down. So three more, you know the drill. All right now, let's see if I can make this one in the side. I'm probably gonna rush it. Yeah, I did. You can see it just rattles right out. So there is the ball into the side. Seven in the corner, running up. And I ended a bit weird on the non. Wanted to make it in the corner. And I think I still make it. Yeah, I do. It's not exactly perfect position. It's not what you would call that. So we make the side. I end up dead straight on this ball. I'm gonna draw it back. And I wanna say the reducer switch this one out. No, no it does not. Okay, so I think that is five or six successful attempts. Remember, we're going to 10. Calling the pocket beforehand. Of 
Oh, and there's that side pocket rattle again. See, I'm perfect on the 11 into the other side. Just throwing out three more. I stepped back into that shot, and it's never good to step back into a shot. You always want to step into it. Uh, so, if I step back again, I'm going to notice that, and I'm going to change that about some of my shots. And there is another little run out. So that is either six or seven. I've lost count at this point. So shoot and stop. This one we're just bringing it back. I think. Yep. This shot's actually really, really hard with the reducer uh, because of the way they are cut. So I'm surprised I made that one. I have to slow roll it every time. So guys, while we are here, make sure you click that like button on the video, uh, and also subscribe to the channel. Also comment if you like this voiceover thing, and if I should do this with more little uh, pool little, I guess, workout lessons, you can call them. That was a good show right there, and I know what happens here, I remember this. My rule that you can't move the reducer, so I'm shooting underneath it kind of jacked up to use draw and that's why I miss it by so much just not the best luck there of where my cue ball ended up good shot on the two over there for I think that's the 12th ball I believe we make this. I can't quite remember. Yep. There's either seven or eight. Going to ten. Three ball runouts. Calling the pocket beforehand. This will actually skyrocket your game right here. This is the most important drill in this uh, lesson, I guess I would say. And I was kind of stupid there, and I decided to hit it hard and forced my cue ball to the rail and back out for the 11 in the side when I could have just held it there I don't know why I forced it back out I believe we run this one right here just by the looks of it we draw back for the 12 in the side just like that And kind of shooting over a reducer. Ah, oh, we just hit that green point on it right there. It shortens the pocket by about two inches. And there's that miss in that same side. So I see I'm having a problem with that shot, so later on I might go on. And during these, you always need to take notes on yourself. See what you're doing good, what you're doing bad. Mostly look at what you're doing wrong. Obviously, I have a problem with side pockets. And I got out of shape on my 10 ball and left it straight in. So I believe I missed this one. Yeah, the reducer just spits it right back out. You have to be really accurate with these. This one, I believe I run just by the look of the layout looks a bit easy however I do remember I missed an easy 12 ball into the corner uh, I believe this one is it I think I would have missed this one even without even without the reducer yeah I missed it by a good bit I'm not sure why maybe because my tripod was blocking my way or something I really don't remember this one I should run just 9 in the side 10 in the side 12 in the corner just really a roll up, shoot and stop situation here. This one's nearly dead straight in. And there's that 12 ball down into the corner. It says either 8 or 9 successful attempts. When I'm practicing, I always do things by successful attempts. So instead of, or in a row. 
so instead of just saying I'm gonna do this for 30 minutes or I'm gonna do this uh, 25 times just try it 25 times see how many times I can get it out of 25 yeah that's fine if you're testing yourself uh, but if you're actually trying to practice I uh, do not agree with that way that's either eight or nine runouts this one looks fairly simple I think I'm shooting the 13 into the side after this one I think it's actually my last one. Yep, that is the last run out. And always to end the shot making part, we're gonna take the reducer out so we can actually shoot the shot. Full table jacked up over the pocket. Long corner shot. And there it is. Uh, so that ends this little part of it and we move on to the last little section of this workout so this is like the cool down if you will and it is just a nine ball run out in rotation running out one through nine no specific pattern set on the table this is just ending it on a high note which i think is the most important part of the game Drawing it over for the four ball. I think we're going to carry this one around the five next. Just like that. We're a little close to the rail, but that is okay. Just going to carry that ball over there. I think I'm shooting it in the side. And just playing drawback position. That was a good shot right there. And really this is just draw back, shoot and stop. Or just roll it in either way. I believe I'm gonna just roll it in. And then nine ball in the corner. Uh, so this was a really great little workout for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, and that is it.